All right, so now let's talk about how to find your rock star closing attorney in your market. And it's actually very simple. What you want to do is go to Google and type in uh, real estate wholesaler and your market. Okay, for, for example, what I mean is real estate wholesaler Atlanta or real estate wholesaler Memphis. You know what I mean? So, so type that into Google and the results that are going to come up are going to be the wholesalers that are in your market. And what you want to do is create a list of those wholesalers and just, I mean, write them all down. The ones that come up uh, for the, you know, the first few pages in Google, you're going to end up with a list of, you know, 10, 20, 30 uh, wholesalers in your market. What you want to do is get on the phone with those guys and simply ask them who they're closing their real estate deals with. And just, just be friendly. I mean, if, if they're anything like me and you, they're going to be open to networking. Because, I mean, that's, that's how this business works. You have to work with other people and you have to network. So uh, when you talk to these wholesalers, you're going to end up hearing some of the same names over and over. Uh, some wholesalers might close with some attorneys, some wholesalers might close with other attorneys, but what you're looking for is a trend in those names that they're mentioning. And as you go down that list of wholesalers, just write out there beside their name what closing attorney they are using or what closing attorney they recommend. And once you have that list, and once you've identified the trends of what wholesalers are using what attorneys, you know, you're going to see, you know, there's basically going to be a prominent name or, you know, maybe two or three prominent names in that group. And once you have, you know, a small list of closing attorneys that all the wholesalers are using, you want to get on the phone with those closing attorneys. So call them up. And what you want to ask them are basically three questions. The first one is you want to ask them if they will do assignment of contracts. Most of them are going to. The second one that is probing a little bit further is ask them if they will do double closings. And, you know, not everybody is comfortable with double closings, but some of them are. So you're, you're getting a little bit closer to finding the right one. And then the third question, which is kind of the most the most brazen or the most uh, revealing maybe to ask the closing attorney is ask them if they will allow you in a double closing to use the B to C buyers funds to purchase the house in the A to B closing. All right. So you, basically you're trying to use your end buyer's money to buy the house in the A to B closing. I hope that makes sense. Um, but ask the closing attorney that. Now, I will say this. Most closing attorneys are not going to be comfortable with that. And I'm not real sure why, to, to tell you the truth. I don't know if it's just because, you know, it, it's, it looks like it's an improper use of, of the money or something like that or using the money before you actually have it. I don't know, but they're kind of just moving the money around on paper, basically, in order for that kind of closing to take place. But anyways, ask the closing attorney that. They, they might be comfortable with it or they might not. If they're not comfortable with it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't close your wholesale transactions with them. Uh, you can still do assignments, you can still do double closing, but, but you might have to bring in transactional funding. Uh, either way, what you want to be looking for ultimately is a closing attorney that will allow you to, you know, like I said, use use the B2C buyer's money to fund on the A to B transaction. If you can find that, it's golden, okay? But if you can't find that, don't rule out the other investor-friendly attorneys. You know, use those guys so you can get the ball rolling and start getting some closings and get some money going in, but always be on the hunt for the closing attorney that will do assignments, will do back-to-back -back closings, and also let you, you know, do the do the buy the, buy the A to B house with the B to C buyer's money. That is a rock star, investor-friendly closing attorney. So that is how I recommend you going about uh, finding your closing attorney. Uh, the other thing I want to mention is I keep using the word closing attorney, where depending on what market you're in. 
you might actually use a title company. The, the same process applies. Uh, you just want to interchange that word closing attorney with title companies. They, they are one and the same. It's just that some states basically call them different things. And again, for the sake of closing your real estate transactions, it, you know, you can basically use those words interchangeably. But anyways, use that process, find your rockstar closing attorney, and it's going to be the biggest asset that you can have in your business. All right, so moving on to the next lesson.